Hello there, welcome to Just Draft. In this video tutorial, we are going to explore the color replacement tool. In Photoshop, you can right click on this and you can find the color replacement tool under the pencil tool. So click on this, the shortcut is letter B. The purpose of color replacement tool, it paints the selected color over an existing color. So for this, let's say we have green color here and we wanted to make it red for this apple. So we are going to choose first the color red, click on this and it, the, the color picker will appear. Choose the red and click OK. And the setup first is the, the default setup is color. That means it will select a color on the plus symbol there and it will map up that area and change the color into what we set. So let's start coloring on this. First, I'm going to color the edges. As you can see, there's an overlap. You can adjust the overlap by reducing the tolerance. Let's say, usually I use 15% and click enter. Let's return this back, control Z and start brushing again. As you can see, the tolerance uh, is now good. For this tool, I usually select the edges first and the main object later. Okay, select like this near to the edges. So it will the plus one will take the sample of the green and it will paint on the green only. And like this. And for this now, you can increase the size by pressing the closing bracket to brush on this or paint on this uh, area. Opening bracket, that means you will decrease the size or you can right click and change the size here and start coloring on this. Make it bigger by pressing the closing bracket. So that's the setup of color replacement tool under this color. Now we are going to use the hue. Usually I use the color and the hue. Hue creates a saturation on the color. Let's say I'm going to use the same color, but I will choose the mode into you. So it will detect based on the saturation of the color. And with the same of tolerance 15%. Let's reduce this. Since this also green, so it will detect this also. But we will select this also to see the difference between the hue and the color. As you can see, the hue detects more color than the color. Because it, uh, it will select based on the saturation of the color here. You can choose different color, say green. But for this, I'm keep playing with the red. So this is the hue with which is uh, which gives the somehow high or the realistic color of the image the color is more intense but you can play with this tool in order to get familiarized or get used to it so you can also you can change the setting here let's say for this you can pick a color and based on that color it will only change so I'm going to tick on this, so I'm going to change it into color and tick on this and I'm going to pick a color of red and it will change only the red color. So based on, based on my selection here, it will only affect the same color, but let's say I'm going to take a sample of this and start brushing or start uh, coloring here. 
it will pick up that color say i'm going to pick up this green click on this and it will paint uh, the same color to that same selection so that's color replacement tool in photoshop in order for you to get used to it is just to play along with it and use the tool like this you can adjust the tolerance in order to play with the edges so that's color replacement tool in photoshop i hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching